But while I was coming home from our pilgrimage, I was in the, in the airport at Athens and uh, sitting in the Air France lounge there. And there were a couple of young men that I thought, these are kind of good looking young men. They're like probably in their late 20s. And uh, they looked successful and just kind of talked story with them, with my wife and I. And then after a while, I asked them, are you guys dating anybody? Are you seeing anybody? And one of them goes, well, I, I have a girlfriend. I've been seeing her for two and a half years. And the other guy goes, well, there's someone I'm kind of interested in. And so I asked him this question. If you uh, found that you were with a woman that you really liked, you thought you could spend your life with her, uh, would you ask her to marry her, marry you? Would you, uh, once get engaged, would you set a date? And one of the guys goes, absolutely. If I found someone that I thought I could, uh, be mar- could live with the rest of my life, I would ask her to marry me. The other guy said, well, I'm not so sure if I want to stay with this girl or not. So I, my words to them were basically this to, this, that, to that one guy. I said, you know what? If you've been dating a girl for two and a half years and you're not sure if you want to marry her or not, you got to bounce. You either got to bounce and let her free, go free and go find a man that will really be true to her, or you need to ask her to marry you, get real, and set a wedding date and start a family. Um, I'm challenging men right now. There are men that are young men uh, that are bigger teases than high school girls. You know, I hear, I hear in the modern hookup uh, sort of culture that we have, men will go, well, I took this girl out three times and, you know, we made out, but she never, we never had sex, which I'm not condoning at all, of course. And they'll accuse that woman of being a tease. But the biggest teases I know, the, the high school girls, really, if you want to really want to get down to it, are the men who date women and don't ask the question. They don't say, will you marry me? Welcome to the Bear Wozniak Adventure. Kickstart that engine and roll thunder with the pack. Explore the grittiness of manly spirituality. Gain traction in the virtues. Zoop up your spiritual engine by turning adversity into adventure. Now here's Bear Wozniak. Let's ride. You can watch the Bear Wozniak Adventure if you want to on our YouTube channel. And if you do that, you get to see what Pete looks like. And he's wearing a clean shirt today. That's nice. Yeah, today. Yeah, today. Just, just for you, Bear. Yeah, just for me. Bear. And I, I did too. I wore this a little bit yesterday afternoon. but yeah. I didn't spill anything on it, so I'm wearing it again today. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so you can watch our video. So uh, Pete's kind of doing a little bit with this show of kind of introducing you, everyone, catching them up on what our ministry's up to. You know, we talked about the newsletter. I think one thing that we, we missed there is there is a lot of stuff going on with Deep Adventure Ministries. And one of the things that I integrate into that newsletter each week are three points uh, from you that you want to highlight that happened that week. It could be one of the Unchained. It could be an Ocean Sunrise Catechism. It could be something you wrote. Um, but essentially, it's it's it really, if you subscribe to that, you're really getting to the heartbeat of the ministry. What's going on? What special things are planned? Um, you know, again, Barry, you mentioned this a couple times before uh, today where we're, we're together here, but Father's Day is coming up, and you know, there's some pretty neat stuff in the in the Deep Adventure uh, Ministry store. Uh, the cigars you talked about, I know they're pretty popular. Um, they're the most so- popular thing we have. Yeah. More popular than the Warrior Rosary in my well, book. Well, just get into the Warrior yeah. Rosary. Yeah. Those two Warrior Rosaries are are awesome. Uh, Gorelli Rosaries, I believe, are the, the manufacturers of them. Um, it, tell us about them, because I know uh, you said that the, the Hematite Rosary totally changed your uh, intercessory prayer life. So yeah, can Tom, you tell us a bit about that? Yeah, Tom Sullivan uh, gave me one of his Warrior Rosaries, so now we have his stuff on our website. When I was on... Um, on uh, you know, the show that he produces on EWTN, uh, before I left, he gave me one of those. And it, because it was manly and heavy, the hematite was heavy. I felt mm-hmm. like I was, whole, it, it is made out of the same stuff that chain mail is made out of, you know. Mm-hmm. I began to feel more manly when I. Hey, man. I don't want you to miss out on your free stuff at deepadventure.com. Go there and subscribe to our weekly email newsletter. You get free video content, including the Bear Wozniak radio show, video version on YouTube before it even airs on EWTN. And you can follow us on all of our social media. Go to deepadventure.com and subscribe. Plus, good stuff happens when you support us at patreon.com forward slash Bear Wozniak Deep Adventure. You get instant access to every radio show, Bear Wozniak Adventure, and our TV episodes, Long Ride Home, the instant we produce them, months before they even air. Plus, we give you all kinds of free stuff, 
coffee cups, t-shirts, and other things like that. Go to patreon.com forward slash Bear Wozniak Deep Adventure and become our patron. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to press the subscribe button and ring that bell.